I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, I enjoy food in all its forms, whether it's a simple home-cooked meal, a street food saver, or the elegance of fine dining, something I'm pretty sure I share in common with our guest co-host tonight. He's a food blogger on a mission to give Emirati cuisine the global appreciation it deserves. Today, our guest co-host discovers Dubai's hidden food gems so that you know where to go for your next meal. Please welcome to DXB today, Reza Kiani, also known as Feed Kiani. Reza, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Now, when we talk about Middle Eastern cuisine, um, I would say cuisines like Lebanese and Turkish have gained worldwide recognition, whereas I feel like Emirati cuisine has been very much still under the radar. And I believe this is where you come in because you want to give Emirati cuisine that global spotlight, so to speak. Yeah, uh, so basically, uh, when I started this uh, food blogging, I uh, really, uh, loved um, like I love my home cook like when my mom was trying to cook uh, Marathi and uh, Marathi dishes and I really enjoyed every uh, taste and I remember every home when I was going they have the different taste as well so when I started this food blogging I really thought that why no one why world doesn't talk about the Marathi dish why doesn't people travel to Dubai or UAE for the Marathi cuisine and so yeah I started to just go out and uh, try to even try more other a variety of Emirati cuisine and show it to the people through my camera so yeah I believe Emirati cuisine has to be very soon around the world globally mm -hmm. people has to know about this dish. Now Ritha I absolutely love you on camera you're always so charismatic and you got such great energy you know it's making me want to go visit a restaurant but I'm curious what makes you decide that you want to feature a place because I've seen you go from Koshari to curries, what, what is it that really pulls you in? Well, um, every dish it makes me so excited to go and try. The, the thing is, when I was a child, my dad, uh, my parents, so they didn't allow us to go out that much often to just explore the different cuisine and uh, different dishes or uh, uh, like this. So what happened is when I started to just go out more often, uh, I, I started to just uh, be excited when any dish I'm introduced to. Like when I see like people that say like, you have to try koshari or for example, any uh, traditional uh, um, uh, Egyptian dish or any kind of this. I, I'm gonna be excited, so excited to try every di every different dish. And I'm obviously I will go to the restaurant, I will ask the waitress, tell me what is your best and traditional dishes from your restaurant. I want to try that. So this has inspired me to keep going and try new dishes as much as I can. So if we've got friends and family visiting and they want to say, I want to eat Emirati food, I want to try Emirati cuisine, we know that the best place for that is Andil Hajjah at Mama's house. <laughs> uh, but if that's not available, uh, where would you say is a place to get the most authentic Emirati experience when question. it comes to the food? Very good question. I believe uh, there is a couple of very good uh, restaurant where close to home cook. Uh, one of them is Al Khaima. It's a heritage uh, place in Al Sif. Uh, this is basically, I can tell you like 99% is like home cook. It's wonderful. They have a variety of Emirati dish and one of them is uh, baby shark like uh, with, <laughs> with, with one of my favorite which is you can just mix with that dish. And yeah, that's best restaurant I can recommend to everyone. Did you say baby yes. shark? Baby shark. Oh, wow. That's a, do, do, that's, do, 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 do. It makes me want to say that. <laughs> I haven't do. tried Al Khaima. Uh, Al Fana is our go to, to be honest. Very funny because this restaurant behind the Al Fana. Is behind Al Fana? Yeah. Oh, the competition well, side by side. One of my personal favorites is Asma in Dubai Mall. And is that what it's called? Asma is Asma. really nice. And I you, heard can a lot. See, you can see that uh, Emirati cuisine definitely has derived its inspiration from its neighboring countries for sure. Now, Reza, the weather is getting better, which we are all relieved and excited about. There's going to be lots of pop ups and food markets and food festivals. What would you say are some of the ones we need to look out for? Well, weather, as you mentioned, weather is getting better and better. And first thing comes to your mind is barbecue. Mm. And uh, we're always excited to just go out for barbecue. And uh, uh, and uh, the other thing is the best thing, uh, which I'm so excited always, is with the food festivals in UAE. And get lots of food festivals, food trucks all over UAE. And 
uh, you cannot actually finish this all um, food trucks in, in, mm -hmm. in one season. So you, yeah, this is the best part of actually. I feel like food trucks are quite underrated in Dubai. We, are we don't they? Have I don't culture. know. The last exits like, yeah. are really big. The one on the way to Abu Dhabi now is like a massive destination. It's so good. But also, what about the the, the deliveries, the barbecue deliveries, the, the marinated ones? Are there any recommendations there? I feel like you covered oh, some Oh, uh, unfortunately, I cannot recommend any because we prepare at home and we go for barbecue. <laughs> So, Emiratis know how to do the camping exactly, and the barbecue you know, we, well. Yeah, you guys the, have your here, here, so we know up, very well. It's a good life. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And uh, actually, lots of new brands, new uh, chefs coming. Mm -hmm. They do delivery in UAE with the uh, best marinated uh, kebabs and yeah. a variety of uh, dishes. So, yeah. So, Reza, for someone who's never tried Emirati cuisine, if there's one dish that they need to start off as, as a base on a basic level, what would that be? Oh, Majbus Robian, it's uh, Majbus Shrimp. Oh, this is my favorite. It's my favorite as well. And so good. <laughs> we're going to talk so much food coming up, but we're going to add more people to this food party. Next up, we're going to be joined by a visionary public speaker, business coach, and F&D guru. Plus, we're going to be discussing all things Gulf food, and the lovely Laura Coughlin joins us right here in the studio. Stay with us.